Hi guys, welcome to the second episode of the Human Algorithm of Things. Actually, this is the second episode, so if you're new here, my name is Diana Doreen. I am the founder of DPR Agency, and uh, I also host the Human Algorithm of Things, as you can see. And uh, the Human Algorithm of Things is just basically a podcast that talks about communications, corporate communications, uh, public relations, uh, building a personal brand, building a strong brand and leadership, everything mixed up together to, you know, to help uh, small businesses and entrepreneurs to, you know, to become forward thinkers and to, you know, lean into the digital platforms and to to leverage the innovations in marketing and, and packaging their messages, basically. So, um... First of all, I want to thank you guys so much for the feedback that I got. I really, I was overwhelmed actually because being a first, I didn't know what to expect. <laughs> the content that I, I I did shoot the first time, it was actually setting the, the foundation of how the other episodes would be like. And your feedback, guys, I, I would say have really challenged me to a point and have also showed me the kind of things that you guys really like a benchmark for the rest of the episodes because i have i have already all of them lined up eight episodes full and i hope you're going to enjoy each and every episode so yeah thank you so much guys and i've made it an effort to read at least one feedback of the podcast or the subsequent content that come from the podcast so that i can just um put you into context or or just simply get you in what we're going to talk about today and um so yeah so let's just move on to it so the first the first uh the first thing i'm gonna read and it's it's a long one guys (laughs) this person actually took his time to actually send me a feedback i actually posted something on my whatsapp status and i had written uh let's say it with me having many followers online does not necessarily amount to sales and i said once you have something that you want to sell sometimes it's when you're building a brand or you want to start out you have to position yourself in a way that you can be able to sell something that's what i had posted and now maybe for the people viewing this on youtube i'll just put it up so that you can see the post yeah so that's what i posted and also to back up that content uh, i wrote an article a few weeks ago about personal branding and how to leverage personal personal branding in the digital space or just um you know spread it out to the things that you do every day the activities that you do every day and you know building up to you know this strong brand that we're talking about yeah so i'll leave the link to the youtube channel or the podcast or the website every information that you need to know about that content moving on swiftly i will just uh, read through the content that the one of you guys uh, sent me uh yeah so guys i really appreciate you guys for always um giving me constructive feedback because this shows how much you guys are interested in you know having a strong brand and you know becoming forward thinkers and leveraging the digital space actually so it goes like this it's a long one guys (laughs) yesterday there was something you had on your status about followers and marketing and it had me thinking for a while i have been pondering on that topic and my view was you can create a following then you convert them to customers I was doing a simple research. Americ. I'm sure you know this guy. I joined his Telegram channel while he was still starting out back in 2020 and I have watched him grow to 114,000 people currently. And right now he keeps posting things to do with meal plans for reducing weight, for gaining weight, meal plans for diabetics, guidebooks on handling certain health issues, and they all come at a cost. The guy has actually started his own circle. Wow, then there's also this one. Uh, Omwamba, I hope I've gotten the name right. Omwamba, a very noisy guy on Twitter. After gathering a following, I see he's now actually promoting a gambling site. I won't name the gambling site, which I think he has a good number of shares. 
then we have uh the, this last one is just a hard name lewelin lewelin owia lewelin owia this guy is very active on facebook akisema vitu kama things you need to start a certain business mara anapea watu platform ya kuongelea their failed businesses nowadays naona anauza anauzia watu guidebooks to the online business ideas etc etc so my thinking was you promote yourself kabisa on something then once you have amassed a good following you sell them anything ata hewa so yeah so this is one of you guys and i really appreciate that because that is in depth <laughs> that is really in depth and um he's really on to building something very big and i appreciate his efforts actually yeah so and that brings us to our topic of discussion actually today we're going to just look at the digital economy the digital marketplace and uh Uh, you know tying it down to leadership comes that is co- when i say comes i mean communications and then marketing and you know building a personal brand so yeah let's so let's get into it and finally before i start because this one is a hot one i am going also to read uh, one of you guys um so i have made it an effort to to just read also one serious uh post that one of you posts it could be on twitter if i'm following you on twitter it could be on on facebook on linkedin last time i said linkedin and <laughs> i've been using linkedin linkedin for for i've been pronouncing linkedin for all this while you guys can attest to that if you have interacted with me at a personal level and <laughs> it just came out like that oh goodness talking of reinforcing something Yeah so on LinkedIn, on WhatsApp, on Facebook, whichever platforms we, we interact in, I find I make it my my business to to say what's up now for example there's someone who posted this some um, this um post that really inspired me. So I'm making it my business to go through all my like if you are you have my number and maybe we interacted and we exchanged numbers it could be you are my client before or maybe you just um you're interested or mean you you want to know more about the things that i do or we there's a way we connected to a point that we are, we shared numbers and now we are now viewing each other's data so i've i've make i've made it my business to to go through all the status or maybe just yeah it helps i mean that you so many of you so i might not go through all of them but yeah <laughs> so this person i want um Uh, so this one this is actually my sister let me just be honest here my sister posted this today and i really liked it i don't regret anything i've ever done in life any choice that i've made but i'm consumed with regret for the things i didn't do the choices i didn't make the things i didn't say we spend so much time being afraid of failure afraid of rejection But regret is the thing we should fear most. Failure is an answer. Rejection is an answer. Regret is an eternal question you will never have the answer to. You will now remain with what if if only I wonder what would have. You would never never know and it will haunt you for the rest of your days. I like it or oh, it is from Trevor Noah actually. So this actually sets the tone for today's topic. So today's topic we're talking about the digital economy and how to leverage yourself so that you can be able to as uh, uh, one of you guys commented or sent a uh, feedback you can be able to sell he talks about you can sell hadi hewa but for uh, for for me I would I would it's you know it's subject to discussion because I would say you cannot sell everything you cannot you cannot sell everything that is as a human you cannot sell everything so how do you leverage yourself on digital platforms let's use uh, Trevor Noah for an, as an example Trevor Noah is someone who we know him very well as a comedian if you do not if you've never heard of Trevor Noah Trevor Noah is a very famous comedian who started out in South Africa he was born in South Africa uh, he has written he has written a book on his life yeah so he moved he's now he moved to the US and that is how his career just you know um 
exploded that he moved to the US and is now doing great still there and you see these are two different places two different geographies with two different kind of kinds of culture talk of um the, you know the the market the markets are very different but he was able to to communicate effectively from you know South Africa and now to the US yeah so this is an example of how you can build a strong brand and to answer him to answer the person who sent the the, the feedback uh, when we're talking about uh, the human algorithm of things, we're not just looking at communication, say marketing, say, you know, the tools that we talked about in the first episode being, you know, websites, social media, all these other things. When you're looking at the digital economy, we're looking at a, a, a platform. It's a platform that actually gives us a lot of room to express ourselves. For some reason, I feel like TikTok is so emotional and all that. I don't know if it's, if it's just me. Yeah, so if we have a digital platform here where we can all be so expressive and we can, you know, give ourselves, um, you know, share a lot of things, share our prowess and everything. You see, you know, already so many people have moved ahead of brands that were initially established like people like let's talk let's call them influencers because that's what they are influencers have moved to a position where they are able to market a product or service very effectively in line with in line with what they you know they do their lifestyle and everything so you see that this a shift from the old industrial model of marketing where people would just uh, be up there like I said people would be up there and you'd be here people would be talking down to you and telling you you should do this and you should come and buy things from us and now things are shifting to people wanting to be more engaged with content and this is a this is not a silent uh, audience it's an audience that reacts and they react very fast and they get things to go viral and they also at that same point they are also moving it means they are not at at any one point uh, stuck at any one level they keep on moving so we're trying to communicate our products or services to people who are moving so that actually changes the whole the, the whole dynamic of marketing uh, the whole dynamics of, of you know communications as a whole and now when you're going back to leadership going back to PR going back to branding and personal branding and all that how then are you able to package yourself in a way that you are able to communicate effectively where as the human algorithm of things uh, perpetuates and is really for to create meaningful connections that actually convert now to selves so that's what we're talking about. So when you're looking at the digital economy, we look at Trevor Noah, for example. Trevor Noah was a comedian in South Africa and he knew that's what he wanted to do for several reasons. He may be having several reasons because this is a guy who didn't have a normal childhood because he was, you know, they talk about um, he, was born, he was born from Amzungu to Africa interracial something of that sort during the apartheid or d during those times in South Africa when things were not so good for you know the blacks and there was a lot of chaos in South Africa you can go look up that story and if you have watched Sarafina you would you'd really get a lot about the you know the atmosphere during his time when he was growing up so this is not someone who came out of, this is not someone who was born from you know you know the normal usual things and yes these underdogs that we have that these people disadvantaged are i feel like they just find themselves somehow maneuvering so when you talk about building a personal brand or building yourself and you know creating an impact for yourself we, we we're not looking at people who are so capable or people who are so outstanding or people who have so much money that they are able to to actually build something out of nothing we're looking at ordinary people who are able to scale and what pr and comms at dpr agency what we do basically is to help you remain consistent and keep you up to date with the latest kind of you know 
things that happen in marketing and communications because at the end of the day you have this product that is worth you know worth people's time and money you are selling value the only thing that is left is now to market it and let people know that it actually exists <laughs> and that is what marketing is all about so a lot of times it's for us to help you to define your vision for us to help you package it in a way that you know makes sense to everyone because sometimes you're so centered about your solution that you forget you know you selling you creating this product for someone else and that you know there's a very thin line there when it comes to understanding your customer and all that so i do not want to digress because i'm seeing myself digressing so much i was talking about um you know the Trevor Noah story, Americs, and all those inf- all those examples you can think of people who have uh, built a brand from from the ground up. So you see, these people, as I've said, the digital economy is a very interesting one because it gives you permission to get to so many people. Like um, starting out uh, in DPR, like I had to do a lot of things on my own. I had to to learn a lot of things on my own because that that's what it takes to be you know uh to start out in you know you sometimes you do not have all the resources but you just learn to maneuver and to you know learn to do things so um for them i would say the digital economy really uh, accentuates what's the word that i can use the digital economy is um a platform that can give you so much mileage when it comes to getting your word out there and what you want to do is to get it right so whatever reason that put trevor noah to now decide i want to be a comedian maybe he wanted to make people happy you know when you read when you read through his story you'll find that there's a point in life when he said he wants to do this so maybe for you you want to change your life you want to change your life to a certain point or you want to do something that is actually meaningful you want to start something and what really ails us it is consistency how do we remain consistent throughout the years when the louds are, are no longer there and you just on your own there's no one supporting you and you just you know you are onto something that's when you now remember that having a vision having a strong vision is very important if you do not have a strong vision then you find yourself you know maneuvering and you know trying out new things and forgetting what you started out so as trevor noah went on with comedy he started with comedy and because and this is something that you should consider and i'm going to put it out very clear so that we can all grasp what the how this is very impactful because you know as human beings we are not one dimensional I would say that you can find someone and I'm going to use one of the mentors that I have. She's my mentor. I don't know if she knows. One of the mentors that I have is someone that I I worked closely with in the former organizations that I was working at and she told me that she's a mother. She's also someone's daughter. She's someone's wife. She's someone's partner. She's someone's um project manager she's someone's uh you know she does a lot of um riding and you know the riders people who do, ride those fancy motorcycles yeah she also does that does that so she has all these things and all these things are what make people else this could be someone else's script if you're a tech person you could be so much into gym and you could also like um uh you know healthy living so whatever thing that you're doing so you say maybe i decide uh once upon a time i wanted to change the world i wanted to change the way people uh, mistreat others and i want to make the world a better place but then i realized i don't want to make the world a better place i want to make myself better i want to I want to introspect and look at myself and say how can I make myself better for the world. So it is during those times that you find a very strong vision within you that you feel like okay maybe I should change this part of my life. And when you decide to change this part of your life maybe you decide to de- to document it. And there's where communicators come in when you decide to co- when you decide to document it it could be and now we're talking about how this is on personal branding could be your health the way he has talked about americs with health issues 
you talk about it you talk about your journey you talk about your failures and with time you'll build a community that actually resonates with that because at the end of the day the first rule of communication is communications is that you cannot speak what you are not you cannot sell what you are not you cannot sell what you do not know that is the first rule of communication so you see so when you come back to entrepreneurship and you know SMEs and business when it comes to business you um I interact with a lot of business people and uh, one person also told me that you know even if he's doing these uh, fixtures of you know CCTVs and all that he has to do it he has to have it in his house you see so that when so that this kind of builds confidence and that also speaks a lot about how you are able how you able to to pitch your product or service to someone else because you know it too well and you know it works and become so com- confident about it so yeah those are the things that you're talking about now when you're building a brand when you say i want to change maybe my health or i want to change my 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 income or i want to change how people perceive me or or i want to become a better leader then you decide to document that story so you do, you document it in a way that is um less okay the way you would, the tone that you would use is different the tone the the words that you would use is different the language you would use is different but what you're building slowly and cumulatively is a strong brand with people who actually resonate with you and that is taking a specific niche that has specific people who want to listen to those specific needs and are led to to achieving a vision that is very clear and it's also a vision that they want to achieve so that by the time you have reached that vision or by the time you have reached where now Americs is and he's starting to now sell value you'll find that people will actually buy those things because they know this is someone who put put the work into you know healthy living and this is someone who was so much into it but does it mean that you will not have um, negative people against it or everything when you look at negativity you find that no matter what you do whether you're doing the best thing or the worst thing you'll always have people to say something so like that is an example so for Trevor Noah I'm sure that those people who don't even like him at this point but there are those people who are looking up to him and say you know what I really want to be like that person so I am speaking your language <laughs> right now and maybe you have something coming up or you do not even understand what you want you're still thinking ah what do I really want to do in life and you're not so sure you are free to when you're younger you are always free to start as many things as you can and fail and start again and fail and start again until you get that something that clicks so at that point yeah messaging is different how do you package your message how do you move forward and how do you remain consistent even during the rainy days when you know you encounter a crisis when you stumble into you know uh difficulties and you know there's no quick fixes in marketing and in a world of you know so many people have their eyes on something the moment you stop doing anything is when you realize everyone was on your case so you see so when we talk about people kama the we are looking at Trevor Noah Americs and everyone these are people who set out and said i am going to do this and they were they have they had a very strong vision behind them so in the back of their heads they knew this is i want to achieve this vision you know vision is a general term that you say this is what i envision my life to be i want to be more successful i want to drive the most expensive vehicle or i want to you know have the the the, the, the i have to have more control of my life and maybe i do not want to I want to travel around the world and all that setting out steps that are going to help you to achieve now to come to that greatness and that's all about uh, personal branding uh, building a strong brand and you know leadership it all narrows down to what you can do maybe today so when uh, we're looking at digit- the digital economy yes this this it's debatable people can say that okay Uh, the digital economy was meant to equalize all of us but somehow somewhere things still the rich are still getting 
you know getting a hang of it and you're seeing people bidding on ads very expensive ad people are investing a lot in marketing so that they can have the top they can appear at the top of you know search results and all that then you as a small entrepreneur how, how can you leverage your small community how can you leverage your, your the region that you're in so that you can be able to connect better and you can be able to uh, you know what there are so many benefits that come with digital uh, with the digital marketplace it's you can do better you can do better you can do more you can do things differently like we have agreed that the digital space can help you sell something online you can sell something online then we're moving forward to say that in addition to selling something the future is looking at people who are able to increase brand loyalty because moving forward we are, we are seeing people uh, so many products coming up that could be doing the same things so how do you build brand loyalty and also the digital space gives you um, you know data you are, you have this data real-time data that you can actually analyze uh, more on data and everything we'll be talking about such things in the subsequent episodes it also expands your access like so how do you package yourself to achieve that at the end of the day there are so many guides online there are so many um, there's so many information on how you can start out all oh, social media management or oh, so oh, website and everything but at the end of the day are you getting your messaging right do you have your customer avatar intact and are you able to iterate or change things from time to time, uh, sit with your team and analyze and look at where you're at, what you can improve, or what you can, what or what you can drop, or you know, do all the B to B testing, and just learn your 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 way up because learning doesn't stop in entrepreneurship. Learning doesn't stop. We keep on changing things. We keep on improving things to serve our clients better. So yeah, so the digital economy is all that me being a communications and PR person, I want to be able to connect with someone even in Vietnam. You're getting what I'm saying? So that people talk about the world as the global village. Is it really a glo- <laughs> is it really a global village in your in your space? Yeah, so I hope you guys liked it. Uh, if this uh, resonates with where you are at, uh, I'd really love to hear from you. I'd really love to get your feedback and your comments. I'm going to share this on Spotify and YouTube. Please feel free to interact with the, with the content. Let me know what you think and let me know if it's something, if you need assistance with, you know, communications and marketing, messaging and all that. We basically do free consultations or free guides. Those are not things we charge people. But at the end of the day, you have to value and gauge yourself. Do you have a vision? Do you have a strong vision? Do you are you consistent? Are you um, that person who's looking to build maybe a strong brand for yourself? And maybe it's not you. Maybe it's your company. It's the company you're working for. And maybe you need maybe advice or something. We are communicators. We help each other from time to time. 